I don't even really want to be shooting this right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a bad mood. Um, if you guys want to know why, links down in the doobly-doo. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Um, before we jump into it, uh, I want to apologize to everybody. Uh, I didn't stream this weekend. Uh, this long, long story uh, intro E will tell you about that. Um, yeah, click on that link and you'll find out what all happened. Uh, to those of you who were upset, hey, life happens, or in this case, shit happens. Anyways, today we are talking about The Grown Up by Julian Flynn. Um, going from one shitty situation to another. Uh, I hated <laughs> I hated this book. Uh, you can't even really call it a book. It's a short story. Um, in fact, it was in a collection of short stories uh, that was edited or put together um, by George R. R. Martin originally, and then Book of the Month Club did a special gift for our members. Uh, the book opens up with some promise. Uh, another thing I need to tell you is my friend Susan Burgess, she sent me this book for free. Um, she, she didn't like it. Uh, she didn't like the porny aspect of it or the, uh, the adult situations in it. The very first, very first line is, I didn't stop giving hand jobs because I wasn't good at it. I stopped giving hand jobs because I was the best at it. Anyways, it goes on from there, but that's not the, that's not the reason this is bad. Um, this is bad for the same reason that Gone Girl was bad. In fact, it was so bad, I didn't even understand why I hated it until someone else explained to me what actually happened. Um, I don't know if I was, like, phasing in and out while I was reading it, because I was so, so bored. It's a 60-page story, and also, it's super tiny. I'm going to try and find a regular size hardcover. Hang on. So I'm going to get this. This is a regular size hardcover. This is the grown-up, okay? This is 63 pages. The first seven pages are just intro material, so the book doesn't even start until the seventh page. On top of that, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the font is super huge, okay? So that's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a short story in hardcover format. I stopped in the middle of it. I never stop in the middle of short stories. I stopped and walked away, grabbed myself something to eat, came back, watched some YouTube videos, and then I jumped back into it to finally finish it, I think the next day, actually, now that I think about it. But, uh, anyways, so yeah, <laughs> I read it, got all the way through it, and I didn't understand it. So that's what I put in my review, that's what I said on Twitter, it's like, if anybody has read The Grown Up, please tell me what the hell happened to it. And it was pretty much explained to me that the second half is exactly what I thought it was, it's just... It, it's not that it doesn't make sense, it's just it doesn't make for a good story. It's almost like Stephen King's Colorado Kid, there's no story here. There's just one shitty individual ends up with another shitty individual. I guess I'll have to put a spoiler uh, <laughs> spoiler warning at some point in time. So, spoiler alert! Um, but, the, <laughs> the, the I don't consider that an ending. I, I never have and I never will. Just... I mean, getting, that's not a comeuppance. That's almost like winning the lottery, getting ending up with another shitty human being um, so you, that you can be shitty together with. I don't know that that's a comeuppance at all. I didn't feel that way in uh, Gone Girl either. It just felt like, okay, here's our life now. We are now stuck together. Who cares? I mean, you read all of Gone Girl. Gone Girl's a pretty long experience only to come to find out that they're, oh, yeah. Well, spoilers for Gone Girl too. Spoiler alert! Anyways, I'll put spoilers for that and Gone Girl in the title of this video. That's how pissed off I am about this. I don't even care about spoiler alerts for, <laughs> for, for this or anything else having to do with Jillian Flynn. This is the second thing I have absolutely hated from her. The only reason I gave Gone Girl two stars was because there, there was good sections in that. It's just the ending was so anticlimactic. I mean, any number of things could have happened there other than what happened, and this just feels like a random <laughs> toss away. Anyways, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye Okay, so here's where we usually talk about spoilers, but the whole review was a spoiler, so it's whatever. Um, yeah, I had a really, really bad weekend, and I'm still in a piss poor mood. So if you guys are watching this going, damn, we've never seen E like that, well, yeah, because fuck. <laughs>